Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 48. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Business 210, Chapter 3. If you enrolled in the class, just go to our Chapter 3 website. Hey, uh, we want to talk about uh, the empirical rule and this great Russian mathematician's theorem on the same uh, values and compare what kind of statements we can make. Here's our example. If the distribution of weights for a lettuce filling machine are normally distributed or bell shaped with a mean of 13 ounces and a standard deviation of 0.1 ounce, what percent of values should lie between two standard deviations? And what are the low and high values associated with these percentages? Well, first, we have to remember our rule. Uh, for the empirical rule, we have two standard deviations. Oh, that would be 95%. So I already put that there. Then it's just a simple matter of calculating the lower and upper values based on our mean and standard deviation. The lower value would be our mean, and then we subtract. So uh, if this bag fill-in machine is two standard deviations below, that means the customer is going to get, what, 12.8 ounces instead of the 13 on the package. And on the upper end, the customer might be happy if they were adding two standard deviations, but of course that would uh, cost more for the business producing these. Let's see, did I put a two? Yeah, I did. I don't think I put a two right here. Oh, yes, I did. I put the cell reference. So empirical rule, we say because the distribution is bell-shaped, we can say that approximately 95% of the values should lie between 13.2 ounces and 12.8 ounces. Later, uh, all the way in chapter 10, I think is when we do hypothesis testing, we'll actually get to be someone who works in the factory and runs this exact type of statistics to determine whether the machine is filling accurately or not. Now. Uh, this is the empirical rule. Let's go down and do our theorem here. Same exact data, except for what? We remember our uh, theorem says two standard deviation. Hey, that's going to be 75%. Notice that is a lot smaller than this 95. We do the same exact calculations. I'm going to highlight both cells. Equals our mean, and I'm going to hit the F4 key, minus, I'm going to hit my standard deviation and F4 times uh, this right here, and I'm going to hit F4. Now I'm going to control enter to populate both of those. And I'm going to immediately come here and change that minus to a plus. In this case, we can just say because the distribution is not bell-shaped, not bell-shaped, we can say that approximately 75% of the values should lie between 13.2 ounces and 12.8 ounces. Still the same bookends, we just have to use a much smaller percentage or proportion. All right, uh, that is a comparison. Uh, we have one last video coming up, Outliers. All right, see you next video.